Hi, I'm Mandy from the museum. Today for our little learners, I have some special things to show you from the ocean. Listen to the poem and see if you can guess what it is from the clues. I am a special home for creatures of the sea. I'm quite hard, but my creatures are squishy. I come in many different shapes and colours and lots of sizes too. My creature and I may move around or stick to rocks like glue. If you find me on the beach, my creatures are long gone. But if you hold me to your ear, the sound of the ocean lingers on. Did you guess what it is? It's seashells. Seashells come in lots of different shapes, sizes and colours. And they're all made by sea creatures which lived inside them. For example, this shell was made by a really big sea snail called a giant triton. Giant tritons and other sea creatures which live in shells are actually soft and squishy. So they make a hard shell like this to live in and keep them safe. Different shells are made by different creatures. For example, this cowrie shell is also another type of sea snail, but it's a bit different from the triton. Sea snails are able to move around and take their shell home with them. But there are other shells that stick to rocks or coral reef or each other, a bit like this oyster shell. Some shells are one piece, but some might be two pieces like this. You'll find lots of different types of shells as you walk along the beach. Most of them will be empty because their creatures have gone, but sometimes you might find another living creature in there, like a hermit crab, which is using a shell for its new home. Do you collect shells? Maybe the next time you go to the beach, you could collect some. How can you organise your shell collection? You could sort them out in size or colour or even shape. What other ways can you think of to sort your shells? Thank you for joining me today to learn about seashells and see you next time. Bye for now.